Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your screen recording with Active Presenter, or in other words, how to edit a video with Active Presenter and export it into MP4 and upload it to YouTube, for example. Okay, and the version I'm currently using is a free version because there's a question yesterday about the free version and the paid version of Active Presenter. And I want to confirm that this is the free software you can use to record your computer screen, your webcam and your audio and add text to your video and edit your video like cut and trim and also uh, maybe add some annotation to the video. And then you can export it to MP4 for uploading to YouTube without watermark. And also they have some information on their website. So let me show you first. Here's, here is Active Presenter free edition. As you can see here, uh, they say that you are using the free, free or trial version of Active Presenter. Some outputs will be watermark. Okay. And we can click this button, learn more to see the free and the paid version and the pro version. So what is the difference? Okay, just click here. Okay, so this is Active Presenter feature comparison. And you can see that uh, we have feature here and this is a free version and this is a standard version and this is a pro version. So the standard version is 199 US dollar and the pro version is 399. But for the free version, you have some option here. First, firstly, is the screen recording for full motion recording and smart capture. And the second one is webcam recording, meaning that you can record your webcam and video editing. You can cut and drop and join and change volume and speed up and slow down. Interesting, right? And you can have multiple audio and video layer on your timeline. For annotation, you can add shape, image, zoom and pan, close caption, cursor part and audio and video overlay. So it is included in the free version, okay? For animation and transition, also included in the free version. And you can use themes and template. And finally, you can export to an image in PNG or JPEG and export it into MP4 AVI or stuff like that for uploading to YouTube completely free. No watermark. Okay. And for the standard and pro version, you have some advanced feature here, such as the audio effect like fade in and fade out and noise reduction. Uh, and blur and green screen for the video effect. By the way, if you just want to record your computer screen, make some annotation and then export it to MP4. And this is totally free to use. Okay, so I will put the link in the description for you to download the software and install it. And then you can try all the free version. Right, let's get back to my computer screen. All right, so this is an example demo uh, that I recorded. So I just want to make a short tutorial about how to add title to your video with Filmora 11. And let's preview the screen recording first. Okay, so now I'm inside Filmora 11. And let's say if you want to add a title to your video, all you need to do is to go to the title. Okay, so the first thing I want to to edit in this screen recording is my mouse cursor. So you can see that the, the opacity of the cursor effect is, uh, is not very clear. So I want to increase the opacity of the mouse cursor. Okay, so in order to do that, I need to uh, select the video, we mean the screen recording. Uh, and then uh, we need to go to the property pan here. But firstly, let's close the resource window first. And then we want to select video and now you have the cursor effect right here. And here you can change the opacity. Maybe I can increase it to 160. I think it's better now. And you can also change the size of the mouse cursor also. By the way, when I make tutorial, I just want to leave it by default so that I don't want to, to change it all the time because sometimes I have multiple screen recording on the, on the timeline, okay? So we can keep it at 16 uh, for the side and we just need to increase the opacity right here. And let's say, go back to my screen recording. Okay, so now I'm inside Filmora 11. And, and the next thing, I want to adjust my webcam size because uh, it is a little, a little bit too big for me uh, at this corner. So I want to just make it a small video at the, at the corner of the screen. Okay, to do that, we can select the webcam video here and then click here to resize it. It is very easy. Okay, just make it like this. And now it's okay. Let's play the screen recording. 
Okay, so now I'm inside Filmora 11 and let's say if you want to add a title to your video, all you need to do is to... Okay, so here at this at this part, I want to zoom to the part that I, I click the title tab. In Active Presenter, it is very easy. All you need to do is to go to the insert tab right here and then go to the zoom and pan option right here and then all you need to do is just click here at the zoom and pan and it will add a zoom and pan effect to your timeline like this and then you can adjust the box to the the area where you want to zoom in okay so i want to zoom into this area so i'm going to adjust it like this and let's preview it first to your video all you need to do is to go to the title tab right here and then you want to select the title now you have many different type templates you can add to your video for example if i want to use this one the new title number two all i need to do is to double click to download this title template and just make sure that you have uh, and just make sure i forgot the script okay so we have to cut this out Okay, so at this part, I forgot the script and we need to remove this part from the video. Okay, so first thing, you want to use the handle here because uh, we have a playhead here. Uh, we have the green and yellow handle. It, it is important to remove the part uh, from your video. Okay, so we can just click here. Let's preview it first. And just make sure that you have... You can also put the playhead at the position we want to... To download this title template and just make sure that you have okay and download this title template title template so i want to remove it from here so all i need to do is to select this one click here and then drag it to the to the position that i want to remove it from the video okay and now we have another one here so we have to cut this out Okay, so we have to cut this out. So I'm going to cut this one at this position. Just select it uh, with the handle tools here. And then you have an option here to delete range, meaning that it will delete the selected area on the timeline. Okay, just delete it. And now let's preview the, the video. All I need to do is to double click to download this title template. Uh, so in order to download the template, you need a Wi-Fi connection. So when it is downloaded to your computer, you can just drag and drop it onto. Okay, so here I drag and drop, and now we need to go back to full screen again. So in order to do that, you can go to the zoom and pan, click the zoom and pan again. Just click here for the zoom and pan, and then you want to adjust adjust this one, this zoom and pan. Just select it and adjust it to full screen. Okay, so like this, and let's review it. Download it to your computer. You can just drag and drop it Very onto the nice. timeline. Just put it at any track here on the timeline to have a title in your video. Okay, so this is the title. Your text here, meaning that you can replace this text uh, with your channel name or stuff like that. You want to double click. In order to show your audience that they need to double click right here, you maybe you want to add a call out to to this position to do that in active presenter it is very easy all you need to do is to go to the insert tab again and then you have an option shapes and then you click here at the menu and then you select call out okay you can select any call out you want but i want to select this one the rectangular call out just select it and then you want to click here at the at the preview area and then you want to drag an area and then you want to double click here and to type the words that you want to say double click here okay and you want to resize it to very small like this and adjust the tail to this area okay. and being mentioned that there is an annotation object on the timeline now so you want to adjust it first it is a timing so we want to go to the, the timeline just put it at any track here on the timeline to have a title in your video okay so this is a title 
your text here, meaning that you can replace this text uh, with your channel name or stuff like that. You want to double click. Okay, so double click. I want to move this one to this position so that to let people know that they would need to double click right here. Okay, and you can also add an animation effect to this annotation also. To do that, you can select it on the timeline and then you want to go to the animation tab right here on the toolbar. Just select the animation and then you select the engine effect. Maybe I can select wipe in. Yes, and for the exit, uh, it disappears, okay. And by the way, we're going to play it to see how it works. That You want to double click here, so let's say Jackie. Okay, so now you can yeah. change it. Okay, so this is my channel name. And you want to change, change this deck to an another. I forgot the script again, okay. And here, if you want to, Okay, so I forgot to the script again. So at this position, maybe if you want to delete or remove this position, you can also do like this. If you don't want to select all of them, you want to highlight all the track on the timeline, and then you can split it. Okay, split it with this button. Split all your video object on the timeline. Okay, just split it. It will split everything. And then you want to go back to here. My channel name. And you want to change change this deck to an okay, and I think it should be right here, this position. And you want to select all of them also, and then split. And now you want to delete this part. Uh, just hit the delete key on your timeline, uh, on your keyboard, and then you want to select everything, and then drag and put it right here. So it is also a way to delete something in your video okay so let's play it this is my channel name and here if you want to is wrong sentence it's wrong yeah. all right so for example if you want to change this text no and being mentioned that you can okay so i think it should be from here so the mistake should be from here but this time i'm going to select uh, by this handle okay and then I'm going to delete this one and then I can preview it okay so this is my channel name and being mentioned that you can customize your title by selecting a preset right here maybe I can select this one text style number eight and you can also change the color of the text by selecting the text color here and then click more and you want to change it to something else maybe i can change it to this green one okay and let's click okay and you can also change the fonts and the size and also the alignment of your text also if you want to custom by the way it's okay i can just uh, keep doing like that just uh, find a mistake in my video and then remove it and uh, sometimes I want to zoom in and zoom out the screen and also add some annotation or call out or, or stuff like that to my video and I can export the video to mp4 okay so to export a video in active presenter you need to go to the export tab again okay and then select video and then you want to select a location for your video uh, I'm going to put it right here at the effect tab and then select this one and change the name to something uh, example number two about it active presenter and then I can click save and now I can just click OK to export the video so I'm going to polish this screen recording and then export it to mp4 and put it at the end of the tutorial so that you can preview it to see how is the quality of the screen recording all right so that is how to edit your screen recording with active presenter and i know that there are many other features that i didn't mention in this tutorial by the way if you want to learn all the feature of this program you can go ahead to my tutorial for beginner right here at the corner of the screen all right and i hope this tutorial is helpful for you if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye Okay, so now I'm inside Filmora 11 and let's say if you want to add a title to your video, all you need to do is to go to the title tab right here 
and then you want to select the title now you have many different type templates you can add to your video for example if i want to use this one the new title number two all i need to do is to double click to download this title template uh, so in order to download the template you need a wi-fi connection so when it is downloaded to your computer you can just drag and drop it onto the timeline just put it at any track here on the timeline to have a title in your video okay so this is a title your text here meaning that you can replace this text uh, with your channel name or stuff like that you want to double click here so let's say jackie win okay so this is my channel name and being mentioned that you can customize your title by selecting a preset right here maybe i can select this one text style number eight and you can also change the color of the text by selecting the text color here and then click more and you want to change it to something else maybe i can change it to this green one okay and let's click ok and you can also change the fonts and the size and also the alignment of your text also if you want to customize your text more you can click this button advanced to open the advanced text editor okay so for example here you can customize like the text uh, borders and text shadows uh, stuff like that okay you can change your text border to something like purple and then you can click ok and you can also increase the thickness of the border so to make it interesting okay and let's play it very nice and if you if you don't want to have the animation like this you can change the animation of the text also just select the animation and now maybe you want to change it to this type rectic okay very nice